a rogue planet has been spotted free-floating in space, planet CFBD SIR 2149. The European Space Observatory reports, and this is a video showing the artist's impression of the free-floating planet CFBD SIR J2149 42.2 040308.9 In the first part of the sequence, the planet appears as a dark disk, invisible light, silhouetted against the star clouds of the Milky Way galaxy. It's the closest such object to the solar system and the most exciting candidate free floating planet found so far. It does not orbit a star, so therefore, it does not shine by reflecting light. The faint glow it emits can only be detected in infrared light. In the final sequence, we see an infrared view of the object with the central parts of the Milky Way as seen by the VISTA Infrared Survey Telescope as background. The object appears bluish in this near-infrared view because much of the light at longer infrared wavelengths is absorbed by methane and other molecules in the planet's atmosphere. The visible light, the object is so cool, invisible light, that it would only shine dimly with a deep red color when seen close up. Astronomers using ESO's Very Large Telescope and the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope have identified this body as a very probable planet wandering through space without apparent star. This is the most exciting free-floating planet candidate so far and the closest such object to the solar system at a distance of about 100 light years. Its comparative proximity and the absence of a bright star very close to it has allowed the team to study its atmosphere in great detail. This object also gives astronomers a preview of the exoplanets that future instruments aim to image around stars other than our Sun. This is by ESO, P. DeLorme and Nick Rissinger of Sky Survey. So it appears that astronomers believe that there are more such free-floating planets wandering through not only our solar system, our galaxy, and other galaxies. There it is. That's with the infrared, how brightly it looks. And it's a huge difference, obviously, from the little red speck that we saw free-floating, which was not very noticeable. Kindly support by contributing to my Patreon account. You'll find it in the description box below. Thank you.